it, it count on TV. In real life, you know, if you get smacked and then that's an ass whooping. That's an ass whooping. You lost. You still lose. You lose when a nigga get a lick on you. And then, you know what I'm saying, you don't get a chance, even if you don't get a chance to respond because somebody broke it up, you still lost until the rematch. Hey, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm different. That ain't, that's not an ass whooping to me. Oh, oh, you see, you seem black. What's going on? This is Joe Button. One quarter of the group slaughter ounce and you are now checking out. This is 50 and Jack Thriller. Hi. Jack and Joe, baby. Forever. It's not, not forever. I'm the unofficial not, member not, of Slaughterhouse. No, no, you're not. Nope. Not even for a minute. It's not even, it's the exact opposite of forever. It's immediately over. <laughs> oh, man. So I ain't going to pool parties or nothing? No. You, you don't never invite me over, Joe. I'm starting to feel like I ain't your real friend. Yo, Joe, what do you know? Hey, I got a homegirl. As a matter of fact, she trying to get in the business and whatnot. You always got a homegirl. Wait, let me see. She just fine as to her. Well, look, well, let's see. I just need you to just get her on camera and everything. I'm trying to get this bitch popping <laughs> real quick. This nigga is such a fool. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? What? <laughs> it's your damn homegirl. That's my homegirl. That's Lisa Ann. I know. <laughs> You just got a picture of Lisa Ann in your phone. <laughs> You's a horny, wild nigga, man. You just pulled out a picture of Lisa Ann, the fucking porn star, for those of y'all that don't know. I seen Lisa Ann pop off with like nine niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and you just walk around with a picture of her. What are you aspiring? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get her to break into business and whatnot, and you know, hopefully you could help me with that, and then we could do a reality show together, all of us. You know, like a wife swap type thing. You know what I'm saying? Give me Lisa Ann number. I, I'll pop her ass off real quick. Oh, shit, man. Thank you, dog. Yeah, let me, let me, should I lean back a little bit? Maybe it hasn't stopped. Okay, cool. Just shot the NBA video. Wiz in there. French. I'm in there. I'm in the video. You you were there, so you know all the people that were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You about to ask me some generic shit about it. No, I wasn't going to ask you no generic shit. This shit was going to be relevant and everything, uh, things that people really wanted to know. How you hook up with all those guys, you know what I'm saying, to do this song? I just called them. Just as simple as that. Y'all all friends and... Reached out to those guys. They were they were excited about the record. Mm -hmm. The record was tough, so I mean... I was, I was just glad they were able to do it with their schedule. Mm -hmm. It was just a good opportunity to get the three of us together in, in, in the same spot. So we were, in a, we were in a gym, which I guess feeds into the whole metaf metaphor for never being broke again. You making some real commercial songs right now, dog. You, you, you crossing over, man. I'm proud of you. I, I'm liking what's going on with the making of this album. Thank you me. know what I'm saying? You, you doing your motherfucking thing, dog. I, I am that. like, I guess every month becoming a Joe Budden fan. So my, my old music was bad. No, it wasn't bad. It's just, I think it, you just spoke to a certain demographic. That was a good political way to answer that, Jack. You're pretty good. Th thank you, man. I, I'm, I'm working on thank it. Thank you for having me. I had decided that I was going to tell Tahiri that I wasn't going to take part in the record. Oh, so you just did uh, Love and Hip Hop. How do you feel about your decision to do the show? And do you feel like that has a, um, any effect on how your music is doing right now. No. No, I don't think the show has anything to do with uh, with how the music is turning out or, or, or going. You know, I stand by my behind my decision to do the show. You know, I just wanted to introduce myself to a different audience. You you're the only person that don't look stupid on the show. You notice that? No, it's somebody else that don't look stupid. Oh that. Who else don't look stupid on the show? Terry don't look stupid on the show. I don't think Kaylin looks stupid on the show. Except when she got her ass whooped by Terry. 21 to 24, still trying to do a career. That's an ass whooping. That's an ass whooping. You lost. You still lose. You lose when a nigga get a lick on you. And then, you know what I'm saying, you don't get a chance, even if you don't get a chance to respond because somebody broke it up, you still lost until the rematch. Hey, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm different. That ain't, that's not an ass whooping to me. Hey man, they'll go up, she can go ahead and get a tattoo of another one, another body on her arm. You look stupid. I, hey, dog, listen, it don't matter. Don't call me. How about that? I never call you, Terry. You crazy. Uh, Terry, she got that one, dog. She's violent. I didn't even know she was like that. <laughs> I don't think those are her proudest moments. When I talked to her, she seemed like she was like, you know, 
Yo, I pushed that bitch teeth back. That's what she said. She was excited. She was excited. That's why she got her teeth. That's why she got her teeth? Push back. I don't think she's like that today. No? She's doing well. I mean, uh, 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 media training is, you know. <laughs> you know, she, 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 I had brought that out of her, because that's what I do. I provoke these emotions and shit, man. Do, do you whoop anybody's ass on this show? No? No. You ain't fought not, not one person on the show. I ain't got no reason to be fighting nobody. Okay. So what's up with that threesome, though? As a sign of good faith, and reconciliation is a threesome. Want you, Tahiri, and um, Kaylin? She said no. She said no? You guys are not my type. Well, so what happened after the cameras went off? What did she say? <laughs> no, that she said no. Joe Buttons, you are, you are lyricist. People respect what Joe you Buttons. do. I'm sorry, but I don't know why I want to put the S on there, man. Well, just take it off. All right, and you get real sensitive about that shit too. That was sensitive. I just told you what my name is. I didn't. You checked me just now. That was me telling you the proper pronunciation of my name. All right, right. I didn't think that anything about that was sensitive. Kaylin and Tahiri had their chance to speak about what took place at BB King's. Me and Tahiri didn't get to do that. I needed to understand why Tahiri ended up swinging on my significant other. We need a reality show. Me and you. What you what you say? Joe and Jack. Jack and Joe. Probably not. Nope. Nah. Cause you know I'm trying to rap right now, right? Well, go ahead and spit some. Let's hear it. I love turning hoes into housewives. All you gotta do is just treat them nice. Yeah. Wanna buy you shit? I wanna lick your kid. I wanna have your friends like. Wow. She always let me. All right. How did you feel? <laughs> Good luck with that. We're not going to do a reality show. No. Nor a song. <laughs> shit. We'd <laughs> be happy this interview is fun. <laughs> this as far as it's gonna go. <laughs> this as far as our shit gonna go right here. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Something like that, but you my man though. It's Joe Buttons, man, we got classic moments. Wouldn't you say that, Joe? Probably, probably. So is that true you gonna be on the show, man? Is Slaughterhouse gonna be on Love and Hip Hop? Ah! Don't you always enjoy yourself when you sit down with me? Oh, this nigga's funny, man. I had no idea. Oh, when we standing up? After y'all break up, man, will you go with my sister? Can you turn my sister career? Oh, when we out and about. Who we in between the fight with you and uh, Consequence, man? But this was cool. Man, I appreciate you, uh, you know what I'm saying, coming even sit down with me, Joe. I got one more question. This is, this is a real question right here, and then this is, we can go back to me. Well, no, this will be the last question. Come on, Joe, don't do that. You know why You know why it's gonna be the last question? Because I'm getting up and taking this mic off. <laughs> but oh. how did Eminem feel about you getting on Love & Hip Hop? He, he was supportive. You know, we had a conversation about it. Even since the show's been on? Him and, him and Paul and everybody at Shady, they're, they're just, you know, like a family that are supportive. Mm. What's your favorite color? This is the part where I, where I exit said it. Joe, it's real. please don't go. My man. We was having so much fun, dog. Don't let the world know that she ride it, think eventually we'll break up. And I love it when we argue, cause eventually we make up. I mean, we fight and fuck. We fucking fight, we fuck some more, ain't fucking ain't.